Dude, WoW players, they deserve this game. They f***ing deserve this. People have been very unhappy about something that I said yesterday. Let me see if I can find it here. How to fix WoW according to Asmongold. So this is obviously a post that I made. And a lot of people were unhappy about this. There were a lot of WoW players that were mad. And uh, I'd like to say that I'm totally right. And I think that time will prove me right. And that's about it. I think that's the reason why Season of Discovery is going so well. I think that's the reason why Classic WoW does so well. This is absolutely fucking true. And I think any reasonable person would see this. And one of the problems of like what happens is you have a lot of these situations where... Let me see if I can pull this up. So this is a good example. So this is a, a notable um, a, a WoW Twitter person. And I go, I'm talking about how parsing is bad for the game. And how parsing hurts the game. And how, you know, it makes the game less fun. And then his argument against me is that I have bad parses. Wh and then I'm not playing the game. So, like, what's the logic here? I I make a video, I'm talking about why I'm not playing the game. And then the argument against that is that I don't play the game. You're so close. You are so fucking close. Oh my god, very convenient, yes. And so, wow, brain rot. Well, this is how it is, hasn't played in years. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I point at the moon, the idiot looks at my finger. Yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, so continue to not play a game, let it die, find something better. Well, I think that's what a lot of people are doing. Absolutely. And so a lot of people have these opinions about like my like my perspective on the game, etc. Like I have 30,000 hours in the game. Like I, I know what I'm talking about with the game. It's not like I can't watch a raid and know what's going on. Look at this. Like This is crazy. There's like literally five different shades of red. Like, do you really think that I need to play the game to tell that this is garbage? <laughs> you think I've got to, like, how many times do I have to kill this boss to say this sucks? Take a look at this. So World in Flames isn't a new spell. I know this might sound crazy, but it's actually not a new spell. This actually was an ability that was added in Cataclysm, in patch 4.2, with Firelands. So let's watch the old mechanic. So you can see there's one right there. Two. Three, I think it's four. Is there four or is it just three? Yeah, it's four, I think. Yeah. And so, somehow... The new mechanic is... It, wait, we've gone back in time. The mechanic that looked fine 10 years ago is now worse. Because, see, the Smolderon is the new Fire Lord, so he's using the same abilities that Ragnaros was using. Like, this logically makes sense from a war perspective. So the name is the same, World in Flames. Look at this. Oops. What are you doing here? Why is it not working? There we go. So we have. I'm gonna let's look at the new the new mechanic. That's the new mechanic. We have actually gone back in time. We have regressed behind 2011. I think this is insane. Yeah, July 2011. 12 years ago, they did it better with the same exact thing. The, you, you, are you, do you have to move out of this? Is this a joke? What the fuck is this? This is awful. And so these are the, this is the mind of a person who thinks that they think that you, that that's not fucking obvious. Like, so, so yeah. <laughs> Do you really think that 
This is some kind of a fucking... Like a mystery? You think I've got to do this 50 times? In order to figure it out? You can't argue about this. It's just absolute shit. It's garbage. It's literal garbage. I don't... Like, I don't know how raiders are okay with it. It's amazing to me. Nimoy is pretty bad, but Smolderon seemed okay. They're both bad. They're both bad. So, the thing is that... It's not that they have to have, like, these, like, super... Like, I think they should just have the same as, like, Final Fantasy fourteen, right? Uh, va raiders are very doomer until someone starts shit-talking raiding. Yeah, they hate raiding until you say you hate raiding, and then they love it. It's crazy. And so then this person is like, and this is what, this is what a WoW brain does. Is that they are unable to think about anything outside of validation that is, uh, like, earned through accomplishing tools, accomplishing tasks that are programmed to lose. So, uh, this is the, the follow-up tweet. Apart from getting carried to ahead of the curve at the start of each tier and never running the raids again and getting boosted as a Prot Warrior to Glad, I actually never played Prot Warrior in Gladiator. Uh, I never played Prot Warrior to Glad, uh, but I played with a Prot Warrior to Gladiator. But it's, it doesn't really matter. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, when, is he, uh, when has there ever been any positive note on the changes that Blizzard has made for their game for this guy? So, um, when have I ever been positive about WoW? Like, I don't know, maybe today. Um, like I said, Plunderstorm was really good, and I was happy they were doing it. And I also said that there were a lot of things in Dragonflight that were good. Like, I've said it all the time. And so, you know, this is just... This is the mind of a, of a WoW player, with absolutely no ability to think critically, to evaluate things on a logical way. They just have to immediately resort to insults, because they can't actually think out a real argument for why this is good. And the reason why they can't think it out is because it's bad. And they're just defending it because they've invested their life into it. And they don't want it to seem like they wasted their time. Well, you just too much shit going on on the screen? Exactly. They have to defend their playtime through poor rationalizations? Yes. And so, uh, thank God, uh, Stay Safe actually tweeted about this. And he used the same chart that I've used. He says, quote, Asmongold doesn't even play WoW anymore. His opinion doesn't matter. And then he says, actually, I'd say his opinion matters even more. In reality, there are more people that have played WoW and quit for a multitude of reasons than people that are still currently playing. The opinions of these people should be listened to in an effort to improve the game, given there's so many of them. If you're the CEO of Coca-Cola and you're losing customers to Pepsi, you don't disregard these people for, being, not, for not being loyal to the brand. You do market research to figure out why they left in the first place. And so you see this chart right here. We played WoW and then quit for some reason, and then there's a smaller circle inside of that, we still play WoW, and then they say, the opinions of those people don't matter, they don't even play anymore. There it is. There was a change you didn't like, but the community was happy about it. No, I, I've been very positive about different things that Blizzard has done. Most skills that aren't top 100 just do Mythic Bosses once and keep saving Lockout every other week, taking two to five weeks to kill each boss. Argument's hilarious, you only need to take one bite out of a shit sandwich to know it's a shit sandwich. Yeah, it's just, it's crazy that people have this opinion, because, like, uh, again, and also, like, it has, like, a person's experience in the raid doesn't have anything to do with whether the raid is good or not. And also, like, here's another factor. You should not have to earn being able to understand a video game. Video games should be inherently intuitive. And also, they are designed to be inherently intuitive. It's not like this is some sort of, like, abstract, you know, weird fucking game where everything's a mystery. They're designed for you to understand what's going on. So if a lot of people aren't understanding what's going on, then that's a problem with the game fundamentally. So it, it's weird because, like, by telling somebody that they don't know what they're talking about because they haven't played it a lot, you're basically admitting that the raid is bad. Because if you can't understand the raid after doing it and looking at it and seeing it, well, then that means that it's hard to understand and it's badly designed. Didn't some Blizzard devs say WoW players are the smartest in the world? Well, they are, but there's also some of them that are the dumbest. You can have raised or similar in challenge, but also designed much better, though. I don't think it has to be one or the other. Yeah, I'd be okay with some harder raids. That That's fine, but I do think that they should make the difficulties of the game, like, a little bit more easy to understand. And, and I think also, like... So this is a big factor that a lot of people might not understand with like my opinion about WoW and like why a lot of people were upset about it is like I don't think that any of the changes that I made that I was talking about in the game 
I don't think that any of them would work unless they were all in the game at the same time. So nobody, and I, I also want to address, there's another people who says like, oh, well, why don't you just do normal mode or LFR or heroic? It's because it doesn't give good rewards and nobody wants to do something that gives shit rewards. Like, so well, how are you going to like, oh yeah, just go do the easy version of the raid that's not rewarding and gives you nothing that you want. Like, who the fuck would do that? So it's like you actively feel stupid for doing it. It's like rewards and incentives drive gameplay. Like, that's common sense. It's crazy that raids are designed around boss mods, but there's no product solution for boss mods. That's completely fucked from any SAS company uh, standpoint. Making a customer come up with a custom solution to use your product. Yeah, it's insane. It, it's, it's like, yeah, Blizzard puts something into the game, and then it's up to the players to figure out how to mod it out. And uh, it's crazy. It's crazy that raiding has gotten this bad. Because also, like, whenever I say that I want raids to be easier, the reason that I want them to be easier is because there won't be any add-ons that play the game for you. Like, if I look at even, like, some of these, like, really, really high-end players, like, l let's look at, like, the levels of awareness that this person has. Uh, this is obviously a... I don't know what this is. I... Is this a... Yeah, this is basically telling the person what they're doing. This is telling them every spell that they've done. This tells them the time in the fight. There's like obviously a uh, DPS meter, healing meter. Uh, this is telling them what abilities are on cooldown, which ones are not on cooldown. Uh, and, and like everything here, like the level of awareness this player has is artificially increased because of the fact that they're using add-ons. So it's like on a fundamental level, add-ons make you better at the game. And in my opinion, if you're playing something and doing something that makes you better at the game, that means that it's basically cheating. It is like, and like in any other ver in any other type of game, that becomes immediately true. Anything that artificially increases your awareness beyond what a normal player would have access to, is 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 cheating. Like that's just how it is. But this isn't any other game. Yeah, and that's the problem. And so. I think that they need to disable every single add-on completely and redo the base UI and make it better. So, and, and also in doing that, they would need to make raids easier and they would need to make them easier to understand. But because you're also removing add-ons, you are making raids harder and you're making them easier. So the same equilibrium point would be, you know, kind of relative, right? That's like kind of my mindset here. Does that make sense? And so whenever I talk about this stuff, I feel like I feel like I'm taking crazy pills sometimes, but then I realize that most of the people that are fighting against me have invested, you know, tens of thousands of hours into a video game and they don't want to think that their time wasn't spent worthwhile. In baseball, you use pine tar on your bat to increase your grip. You can get thrown out. Well, what a surprise. Without details, there's no reason to play the game for me. What's the reason to play in the game if I can't see my damage? You can. Like, you can very clearly see your damage. Like, look, this is 7,928. You literally can see it. It's right there. You can implement a, a product solution as details. Yeah, the devs could make a, a... Well, the developers do have a DPS meter. Like, for example, um, Lost Ark has a DPS meter. There's, like, one other game I think that has a DPS meter too, right? Built in. Oh, uh, Tower Fantasy. Tower Fantasy also has a DPS meter. I'm going to be very, very... Uh, what do you call it? very direct about this. I think that the fixation around logs has ruined WoW. I think it's totally ruined the game. So I was on the phone with somebody yesterday after I finished my stream. And he's like a pretty casual uh, casual player. Um, it's actually, a, it, it, it's my agent, right? And I was talking to him about like, you know, a number of different deals and like plans and stuff. And like, he's obviously played WoW forever. And so, uh, you know, we were talking about like, you know, have you played WoW? And he's like, no, he's like, I was playing WoW and he was playing Season of Discovery and he got the epic bow from BFD and he couldn't get invited to groups <laughs> because he didn't have parses for a level 25 raid in classic Season of Discovery. This is a problem. And it is insane to act like it's not. This is crazy. Get rid of it. Stop it. Stop. Like, why, why is this happening? Like, you're, you're letting them kill the game. You're literally letting them kill themselves. 
<laughs> You're letting them ruin the game. It's a cultural pro problem in WoW. It's a cultural problem in WoW because it can happen. It won't be a problem if they get rid of it. You see what I'm saying? It's gone. Gatekeepers are killing their own games. They are. This is a savior from yourself situation. The Nomer gatekeeping is insane and sod, but it's also a natural consequence of removing GDKP, so people who couldn't parse can't buy their way in the content either. Well, I mean, there's a lot of reasons why that probably happens as well, but at the end of the day, you have people that are playing the game, and they are so fixated around parsing and the numerical evaluation of the game that it ruins the game for everybody else. And once this becomes enough of a precedent, then this is the entire game, and everything is built around this, and then the game begins to become designed around this, because player behavior starts to reflect it, rather than, because at a certain point, player behavior no longer is reflected in, what do you call it? It's no longer reflected in, let's say, what the changes of the game are, it's what the changes of the parses are. People find a new way to gatekeep, it used to just be by gear and achievement, it was the exact same problem. It was, but I think that gear and achievement make more sense than a third-party website. And also, like, being able to have gear, like, I mean, I've, I've gotten a lot of rank one parses, right? And most of the time, whenever you have very good parses, the reason why you have good parses is because you did something that you weren't supposed to do. Very, very common. It's like you're, you're attacking the boss whenever you're not supposed to. You're doing something else whenever you're not supposed to. This is what happens. You're cheesing it. Yes, almost every single time, people are cheesing. How many of you guys have ever, um... <laughs> how many of you guys have ever turned off parsing? Like, I remember I did this in my raid. We turned off parsing. We were like, okay, we're not walking anymore. Then people just, like, played the game and they killed the boss. Because <laughs> they just kept getting killed. They were standing in shit to finish a cast so they could be higher on the DPS meter for the parse. It's not even about playing the game anymore. Almost all my rank one parses are from cheesing and being overgeared early in raid. Exactly, yes. If you want to get a rank one parse on a boss, like, most of the things that are involved with that are out of your control. Or not even out of your control, but they require doing things that you would not normally do. It's not like the highest parsers are the best players. Did the guild have an Asmon parse day? Yeah, it was called Tuesday, Wednesday, and Monday. Every week. And, uh... Everybody else had a bad time except me. That's how I know it's bad. That's my whole point. Stand in the fire, DPS higher. There it is. Again, if somebody's first impression of something is bad, that means it's bad. Like, what's this mindset that you have to earn the ability to have fun? What, are you fucking retarded? No. The game should be fun as soon as you start playing the game. Like, you shouldn't have to play the game for 50 hours, 100 hours. Oh, wait, no, now you're finally, you finally earned the right to enjoy yourself in the video. Get the fuck? Actually, judging a book by its cover doesn't apply in this context? Well, here's my opinion. Is you should have come up with a better fucking cover. You think retail while needs to be changed? They need to make a new game with the changes? Exactly what PoE is doing? I would love if they just took- if they made WoW 2. I would love that. I would be so happy. I would be so happy if they made WoW 2, like PoE 2. That would be so good. Oh my god, I, I, you have no idea how happy that would make- I would be so fu- oh my god. You can only have an opinion on WoW if you're a current 1% player? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like... Dude, WoW players, like, they deserve this game. They do. They fucking deserve this. They fucking do.